In an earlier segment, we have seen that if you do a scientific measurement, you get two things, a number and a unit. We've already talked about the units. So right now, I'd like to talk about the numbers. And in the natural sciences, we often encounter numbers that are actually very big or very small. So we need an, a type of notation to manage these numbers. And one of these notations is called the scientific notation. Now let me illustrate that by an example. For instance, the annual salary of a couple of people. This person here has a rather uh, big annual salary, $24.8 million a year. So if you want to write this number in scientific notation, what we do is we're going to take the decimal point and move it all the way over to the position of the first digit. In this case, we'll be sliding over the decimal point seven places all the way down to the first digit to the left, like this. 2.48 times 10 to the 7, where the 7 means the number of positions you've, you've slid over the decimal point. So this is what you do for numbers that are larger than 1. For numbers that are smaller than 1, for instance, my annual salary, you do the following. You move over the decimal point to the right. In this case, you move it over three places to arrive at the position of the first non-zero digit. So here I have 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 because I moved over the decimal point three places to the right. Let's practice this with a couple of examples. Let's convert the following number into scientific notation. This is 6.6 .6 million, and if you want to write that in scientific notation, you slide over the decimal point to the left six places, which means 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 6. The following number is smaller than 1, so here I have to slide over the decimal point to the right. I have to slide over four places to arrive at the first digit, the first non-zero digit, which is a 4. So here I have 4.8 times 10 to the minus 4. Minus 4 means I have moved over the decimal point to the right. This number here I can write as follows, 8.0 times 10 to the second, because I've moved over the decimal point to the left by two places. Let's then use this scientific notation and perform a couple of mathematical operations. How do you do that? Let's look at adding and subtracting. Let's say I want to add up two numbers. For instance, the two numbers right here. You see, however, that these two numbers have different powers. The first number is to the power minus 2. The second number is to the power minus 1. How do you add these two up? What you can do is you can raise the power of the smaller number up to the power of the larger number. In this case, the first number here, 3.03 .03 times 10 to the minus 2, is the smaller number. I can raise that moving over the decimal point, one position, so I can get 0 0.303 .03 times 10 to the minus 1. Now the powers are similar, and I can just add up these two numbers. In this case, I find 1.64 times 10 to the minus 1. Another example. Here I like to subtract a smaller number from a bigger number. The bigger number has 10 to the power 3, the small number has 10 to the power 2. And uh, similar to the previous case, I can raise the power of the smaller number up to the level of the larger number, like this. The second number I changed by moving the decimal point over one position, so I get 0 0.934 times 10 to the third. Now I can just add up these or subtract these two numbers quite easily. 5.84 times 10 to the third. If you multiply or divide, then we use the following rules. Let's say I have an, an arbitrary number, a times 10 to the power x, where a and x are any given number. And I'd like to multiply this number by another number, let's say b times 10 to the y, where b and y, again, are just any given number. This mathematical, mathematical operation is written as follows. It is a times b times 10 to the power x plus y. So you add up x and y. If you do a division, the following happens. a times 10 to the power x divided by b times y to the, 10 to the power y equals a divided by b times 10 to the power x minus y. So in case of a division, you subtract the two numbers. Here's a couple of examples. 1.2 times uh, 10 to the second multiplied by 7.8 times 10 to the fourth. 
If you multiply these two numbers, what you do is you multiply the two numbers and then in terms of the powers, you add up two and four. That is six. So the answer here is uh, 9.4 times 10 to the six. Another example, 8.96 times 10 to the power 3 times 1.55 times 10 to the power minus 1. In this case, the powers are very different. One is a positive one, the other one is a negative one. How do you do this? Well, you just apply the same rule. You multiply the two numbers, and then you add up the two powers. The first power is positive, the second one is negative. 3 plus minus 1 equals 3 minus 1, which is 2. So the answer here is... 13.9 times 10 to the power 2. And in scientific notation, we move over the decimal point one position, so we get 1.39 times 10 to the power 3. A last example, a division. I like to divide 9.7 times 10 to the fourth by another number, 6.3 times 10 to the second. I just divide these two numbers, 9.7 divided by 6.3, and then I multiply that by 10 raised to the power 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2. So I get 1.5 times 10 to the power 